Hey guys, I'm here today with a Spellbinders project, um, a new release that came out a couple weeks ago or so. Um, it's called Glimmer Greetings. So I chose a few products to work with and I'm going to be bringing in products from the last video I did of their um, collection. I The name of the collection has escaped me, but I'll let you know what's a part of the Glimmer Greetings collection and what's not. So this first thing is Hot Foil Plate Plaid Tidings Background. Um, so you do need a, a hot foil system, but a beautiful background. Um, you could do all different colors, ha Halloween colors, orange, black, and then of course Christmas. So, you know, that would look great with your holiday cards. This is called, and this is also a hot foil plate and die set. It's called Blooming Ornament. So you get three plates, the centerpieces here, and three cutting dies. And so I have them nested in each other. But here are the cutting dies to cut off the bow, the ornament, and the little ornament hanger. And I have two of these nesting dies. This is Essential Diamonds, so you get 12 of them. Fabulous. I love this because there's so many and there's so many sizes. That's basically repetitive, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> and this is called the Essential Arches, and there are 16 dies with this. So these are the pieces that i selected from this release there are more in the release i will have the whole collection linked below so you can check it out also right now spellbinders is running a 40 percent off select glimmer products through the 31st so i actually picked up some more hot foil because i have two sets from hobby lobby that i picked up but it's, it's two sets of four. I'll show you real quick. Which I've used both of these sets in videos. Um, but I picked up some Christmas colors. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting those because, you know, this is kind of getting repetitive working with the same foils every time I do a foil video. So check that out definitely 40 percent off is a great deal and it is only on select items um and also what i'm going to be doing today is bringing in this is from the last collection i worked with um it is the glitter wishes so i'll be using these for my sentiments and again this is hot foil so everything is hot foil with the exception of these two dies die sets the arches and the diamonds and these are great for your stash they always come in handy. So I've made two cards. I'm going to go ahead and show you the cards. And then we're going to make very similar cards to what I've already made. But you'll see the process. So this first one, I used the diamonds. And I did a red and green, obviously. And just kind of layered. I think it looks really great. What I am so pleased about, so I am not um, an expert at foiling. I don't foil a lot. The Glimmer Machine is fairly new to me, but um, you know, it's, it's interesting to work with. I really do enjoy it. Um, so I did get Spellbinders paper that's specifically for the Glimmer Machine and it's worked great. But I wanted to try it, this gold on some colored cardstock. This is just green cardstock from my stash. And it, I'm so happy how it came out. It came out beautiful. So here is the ornament piece with the bow and then the hanging piece. And then I added the sentiment. I mean, it, I don't think I've ever had anything come out so perfectly since I started foiling. It's just beautiful and it is on some scrap cardstock. So whatever I did, it, it just worked out perfect. <laughs> um, the next card I made was this one. I used the background, some vellum. Um, this is silver foiling, but the way it, it uh, sparkles, it does show all the colors. This is from a hot foil set. I don't remember what it's called, but um, we won't be using it today. And then I made this 
as just a centerpiece. It's not an ornament. So this piece here is very versatile. You don't have to do an ornament. And I did it in blue. Pretty. Um, so we'll be making two similar cards today like this, but I wanted to show you these. Um, and we'll be using all these products just so you can get an idea. I actually may not use the diamonds because I've already used them, but you get the idea of how it's supposed to, I mean, how it looks and it's really pretty layering. So I probably won't use these today, but I definitely will use the rest to kind of show you everything. So we will go ahead and get started. All right, so here I'm gonna bring in my glimmer machine. The platform is ready, so I'm gonna place my dies, uh, not dies, my plates on there here in a second. And then I hit the timer button, and when it's solid, I go ahead and place my foil and cardstock on my plates. And then I will run it through my Spellbinders die cutting machine. There's my two shims, the clear plate, the cloudy plate, ran it through my die cutting machine and here they are the foil came off that one so there it is foiled perfectly my little magnetic tool that i'm picking up my dies uh, my plates with because they're very hot it came with the machine but you can also buy it separately i will link it below if you're interested so it foiled came out beautiful except for that one spot and i'm going to take my sand eraser and get rid of as much as i can it doesn't get rid of the whole thing um, even though this came out beautifully, I feel like, you know, with the flowers and stuff, each time I did this uh, plate, it overfoiled in the same spot. Not sure why, but, um, you know, I'm very green to foiling, so whatever. I got rid of what I could, and I'm just going to place my sentiment over it. This is a Spellbinders Tile Mosaic 3D embossing folder that I had used in a previous video. I actually was going to use this piece in a previous video, but decided not to. Um, so I found it when I was searching for something, and I'm like, you know what? We'll use it for this video. So um, it was done using gold mirror cardstock from a Spellbinders kit. I'm going to go ahead and attach my pieces. And I, of course, obviously die cut these out using the coordinating dies off camera, using glue dots to attach the three pieces. And then I'm gonna use some scrap fun foam that I have in my stash that I'm trying to use up um, as to create some dimension. It's a great alternative to dimensionals is getting the cheap foam. However, if you do use fun foam, um, you can use tape adhesive. Here I'm using liquid glue. Um, if you do use glue, it does slide around a lot. So, you know, pick a spot, adhere it, and leave it alone because if you mess with it too much, you know, it's a little slick. Here is the sentiment, and I'm going to go ahead and place the sentiment over that piece that overfoiled. Sending Christmas cheer. And that will complete that card. I really like it, it's very pretty. So, moving on to the next card, I've gone ahead and foiled this background piece, and we're going to bring the arches, the arch die set in. I'm going to trim that, uh, although I wasn't really necessary for uh, what I decided to do with the arches. I just picked two arches in order to give me a framed piece, which I am carefully taking out of the die right now. I wasn't really sure what to do with this, only because I wanted to do something different than what I did with the diamonds on that card I showed you. So I'm just kind of playing around, kind of seeing, okay, pop the centerpiece up, maybe put some vellum over it, to kind of subdue it, but then you know, you get rid of all the foiling effect. And I ended up cutting, see, I like that. Like <laughs> I should have kept that when I was editing. I'm like, ooh, I like that one. But I decided to cut that middle piece smaller. So I brought in another, um, arch and I did that but then I just end up using the centerpiece and that's what I go with right there I'm gonna go ahead and adhere those pieces down the arches and the diamonds are such a great die set to have in your stash 
I mean, I just, I love those types of dies because you can use them on, you know, so many cards. They're not specific to one type of card. And again, I got that overfoiling in that spot right there. I had a harder time getting rid of most of it. Um, being on white cardstock, it is a lot more noticeable. So I do attach the sentiment on top of it to cover most of it. It doesn't cover all of it. Um, but, you know, it's fine. It is, after all, a handmade card, so it's not going to be 100% perfect. I did bring in some gemstones to kind of take the eye maybe away from the mistake of the overfoiling. I give it some extra sparkle. And that is it. Here are the cards that I made. This one and then the next one. And then I do show again the two cards I made off camera. Really happy with this collection. I think that ornament piece is beautiful and how you can see the two different ways you can use it um, as an ornament or just as a decorative piece to your card. Um, so definitely check out the Glimmer Greetings release and the select 40% off foiling products. Again, that is good to the 31st. So tomorrow is the last day for that. So check it out if you would like, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.